The curve we have been given in this six um, exercise um, offers more than just the plain uh, Hall resistivity and the Drude constant uh, resistivity at low magnetic fields. As we can see, there is an oscillatory magnetoresistance in rho xx and there's a tendency of rho xy to form plateau-like features whenever we have a minimum in rho xx. So we may uh, um, think about what the origin and the reason is that obviously Drude's description breaks down completely. Now if you think about electrons in a magnetic field classically, you know that they uh, tend to move on cyclotron orbits and we know the cyclotron frequency is given by omega c is the elementary charge times the magnetic field divided by the effective mass of the charge carriers. Now, as we considered when we discussed the Drude model, electrons also suffer from scattering, which is described by the scattering time tau. Now we may ask, how often would an electron complete a cyclotron orbit before it gets scattered on average. And this number n would be given by 1 over 2 pi times the cyclotron frequency times the scattering time tau. We can rewrite this expression easily taking the definition of omega c and also remembering the definition of the mobility into mobility times magnetic field divided by 2 pi. Now taking our data and working out a number for let's say one tesla where these oscillations have started, um, we find um, that n is mobility 27 meter squared per volt second times magnetic field 1 tesla is 27 divided by 2 pi. 2 pi is roughly 6 so we end up with a number of 4.3. So this makes clear that the electrons are able to complete more than 4 full cyclotron orbits um, before they scatter uh, the next time. Now, thinking of electrons as being quantum particles, uh, which have wave nature, we can imagine that the electron wave that propagates on a circular orbit will self-interfere, and this self-interference would lead to quantized states if the interference is constructive. So quantum mechanics gives us new features beyond the Drude model, um, which is based on the self-interference of electrons. The self-interference will lead to quantized states, and we know that these quantized states in a magnetic field are called Landau levels. And these Landau levels, which go beyond the description of uh, Drude, would lead to this oscillatory magnetoresistance features seen in the measurement. I would like to mention at this point that this oscillatory magnetoresistance phenomenon is known under the name of Shubnikov de Haas oscillati oscillations. We will in the course of this lecture um, discuss Shubnikov de Haas oscillations in more detail and we will learn how they come about um, very soon.